Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer Google Photos to external hard drive. Before we start, hurry up and check out these software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you actually transfer Google Photos to your external drive? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So first things first, we need to download our photos. So in this case, go ahead and open up any browser here. You want to type in the following, which is going to be photos.google.com. Now, in this case, if this is the first time that you're accessing your Google Photos here, make sure to log in first. But once you've logged in, you should be able to see the photo section. Now, first select the first photo that you want to add. Now, in this case, make sure to click on the check at the top left of that screen so that you'll be able to select it. Now, you can go ahead and hold on shift and that will actually select all the photos in between the first and last photo that you've selected. Now, once you've done that, you go ahead and click on the top right of, of your screen here, which is the three dotted option here. Let's go ahead and click on it and you want to click on download. Now, in this case, that would actually prepare your file to be downloaded and they will actually be downloaded as a zip file, as you can see right now. So whenever you click on the show folder option here, you should be able to see the zip file. So whenever you open it up, you should be able to see all the files that you have right now. In this case, you can go ahead and copy all the files that you have. So right click on it, click on copy, and you could go ahead and open up the external drive here. So for example, if you have a drive here, you could go ahead and click on it. So for example, I have the files and folders external drive here. You could go ahead and right click on it and you want to paste it so that you'll be able to basically uh, use it on other uh, computers or in other laptops. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.